Abortion providers in Texas have been trying to get the law halted before it goes into effect. And so what the Supreme Court said last night was that they were not willing to do that. So they voted 5-4 to deny an emergency appeal from abortion providers and others who wanted to block enforcement of the law. The law went into effect Wednesday. What it does is prohibit abortions once medical professionals can detect cardiac activity. And that is usually around six weeks of pregnancy. Um, and before many women know that they are actually pregnant. This is the strictest law against abortion rights in the United States since the Supreme Court's landmark Roe versus Wade decision in 1973. It's also part of a broader push by Republicans nationwide to impose new restrictions on abortion. At least 12 other states have enacted bans early in pregnancy, but all of those laws have been blocked from going into effect. Clinics have said that this law will rule out 85% of abortions in Texas um, and force many clinics to close. Already, abortion clinics uh, beyond the Texas border are feeling the impact. Uh, my colleague talked to uh, one clinic in Oklahoma City where there were 80 appointments scheduled over the past two days, and that's more than double the typical number of patients. Abortion providers said that they are devastated by it. Um, they vowed to continue fighting. Meanwhile, anti-abortion groups and the Texas lawmakers who passed this law are cheering what the court did and hoping that um, they get more positive rulings from this more conservative court. So the Supreme Court does have other abortion cases to consider. It will be considering one as soon as this fall. We will have to see what the Supreme Court decides with this more conservative makeup and whether it decides eventually to overturn Roe versus Wade.